So, back to the wedge game. Key ingredient that Gilly sort of said to me was that I tend to get quite handsy with my wedge game, which I know there's so many of you out there that are pretty much the same. Some of you that struggle with the yips a bit, thin it a bit, fat it a bit, those sorts of things. So you can have things like putting, you know, um, a towel under your arms and swinging with that position there, which is all about keeping the elbows connected to the body. But what Gilly talked about was having the butt of the club almost feeling like it's attached to your belly button. So as you, you turn, with the club don't let the club kind of get away from your body too much so having that position there just getting the sensation of keeping the elbows connected to the body keep that weight just a little bit on your left side or forward leg and then just feel like there's connection and then the turn that goes with it and that just allows you to just get the sense that there's no hit of the shot it's just purely done from a turn of the body and it's the same with pitching and chipping you just obviously just lengthen that swing slightly and you're making sure that the body rotates don't be don't be afraid to allow the hips and the shoulders to just turn back and turn through don't try and feel like you're hitting at it too much with your hands keep that weight on that sort of lead leg and then just turn back and turn through and I mean, that's a pretty good shot for me. Bit of a divot there, but Gilly is probably one of the best wedge players that I have seen, like consistently good throughout his kind of career as being a pro. And that's the one thing that he focuses on. He focuses on being in a barrel and just turning around that barrel and keep that club connected, keep your elbows connected. Don't get those hands getting away from you. Don't let your arms get away from you. That's what leads to inconsistency of strike and then ultimately inconsistency of the result. 